talk about wheat fungicides actually quite a bit because there are three really good timings for spraying fungicide in wheat. Herbicide timing, heading timing, and actually the timing that probably has the best yield gain is the timing that the fewest farmers do, it's flag leaf. When I think about what are we doing with these fungicides, we're trying to protect the leaf foliage from disease. Because once you have disease, it's going to wipe out some of the ability of that plant to catch sunlight energy and turn that ultimately into yield. So in order to do that, we've got to put it on preventatively. We have to get it out there in front of the disease pressure. So we have to anticipate that, hey, you know what, the weather is shaping up like we're going to have disease. There's disease maybe further south in the country that the winds are coming this way and they're going to bring that disease along. Whatever the case may be, we've got to anticipate when those critical times are. At Flagleaf, we know that that main leaf is responsible for up to about 80% of the wheat's yield. It's just critical. So we have to protect it, much like the ear leaf in corn, uh, it's critical that that leaf can catch plenty of sunlight to feed the head. To protect the flag leaf, we've got to look at which different fungicide option we can do, and then also think about the coverage and the way to best make that fungicide useful for the plant. All right, Darren mentioned which fungicide can you use. Your options are still wide open at flag leaf, okay? At heading timing, you can't go in with a strobil urine product you have to use just a straight triazole. So at heading, then you've got some of your options off the table. But at Flagleaf, you can still do anything you want. What a lot of people have been doing here over the last few years is using one of these, what we would call combination products. They have two different modes of action in them. Something like a Stratego Yield or a Twin Line. Getting a couple different chemical families out there is good to broaden the spectrum to reduce the chance for disease resistance. Okay, the other thing too, Brian mentioned at, at heading, we're going to use straight triazoles. The main products there, Prosaro, Caramba, Folicure. Since we're going to use those at heading, we don't want to use those at flag leaf. And I know there's some, some bad information around the country saying, well, why don't you just spray those now? Because are you really going to come back in 10 days and, and spray at heading? Uh, th let's just use those products now. They'll give you some protection against head scab, for example. Hey, look, they will protect the leaves that are out from rust and some other diseases, you're not going to get protection from head scab by putting something on at flag leaf. So at flag leaf, you do have a number of choices, including those combo products Brian was just talking about. At heading, there's just those three triazole products that are mainly getting used, so save those for later application. Darren also mentioned coverage. What are you going to do for coverage? Well, here's the big thing. Fungicides don't move very well in the plant at all. That means we would like to see you use 15 to 20 gallons of water and I would like to see you use the flat fan nozzles. That's going to give you the smallest droplet, the best spray coverage. That's really what we're after. We've even seen it in demonstrations where they'll say, all right, look, remember that in the plant, the xylem is what moves fungicide. So if you don't treat the lower part of a leaf, the lowest part of the leaf won't be protected because the fungicide can only move upward in a leaf, it can't move back downward. So if you only have enough spray coverage to get the tops of the leaves covered and you think, oh, I got, on, got some on every leaf, well, that'd be good enough if you were spraying Roundup to kill a plant or Banville to kill a plant. It's not good enough when you're spraying a fungicide. You have to cover every little bit of that leaf if you want every little bit of that leaf protected from disease. All right, so my last couple of points here. We want to wait till that flag leaf is fully emerged, just like Brian was saying. So let that flag leaf emerge, then time your spraying accordingly. The other thing is there are some really good products out there. So you may say, well, which one's the best? Brian mentioned this Stratego and he mentioned Twin Line and there's some others. Look, there, there's not that much difference between the products. The big difference is either using a fungicide or not. Flag leaf is the timing that the fewest amount of wheat farmers are using, and the universities say it's the one where we're getting the most yield gain. So if you've got some protection that needs to get put out there, do it now at flag leaf this year and choose one of these good products from, from many that you have to choose Here's, from. I guess, one last thing I would say too. If you need to go out and do this aerially, then get it done. In the future, take a look at tram lines. That's what we have on our farm. That's what we suggest you have. That allows you to go back out there and spray whenever you want without having to run the wheat down because that gets to be a big consideration for a lot of guys. And timing is so critical with these fungicides. You can't wait a week to have somebody else come in and spray. You have to spray today. Speaking of spray application timing, our weed of the week has a critical timing too. Spray it when it's small or it gets really tough. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next.